Hello, welcome to Woods Loves Cars, and this is the 2022 Mercedes Benz GLE 350. All right, so before we get started, I want to welcome all my new subscribers. And if you're new to the channel, go ahead and mash that like and subscribe button and share a video. Also, we almost at 2000 subscribers. Let's go. So today I'm going to be reviewing this GLE 350. I'm going to talk about the exterior, going to do some interior features and talk about those. And then we're going to go ahead and take it on the road for a spin. So stick around to the end to find out if this GLE 350 is worth the $57,000 price tag. So first of all, this grill is crazy. And then you have these Mercedes-Benz logo that's big as hell. Right below that, you have your front parking camera that's gonna add to that 360 field of views. And speaking about cameras real quick, you have another camera that, that's right there in the rear view. You also have a couple more cameras that are embedded into the side view mirrors as well. We'll talk about those later. And below this, you have the front parking sensor. So that's gonna be used to, you know, for your forward, forward collision warning or, or parking sensors or anything like that. And then we can talk about the DRLs real quick. So I love the DRLs on this GLE, they're sick. Also in the 2022 models, the automatic high beams are now standard. So that means that in low light or no light driving conditions, you won't have to worry about toggling the lighting controls yourself. So I really think that was a nice added touch. Additionally, this has a crazy, brolic, bold stance, and that is in part by the 21-inch rims wrapped with these wide Pirelli P0 tires that just add to that look and complements it. Lastly, you have these hood lines that are here as well that look really nice. They complement the front of this vehicle, and it gives it that fierce look that it has, but Notice you're not going to see lines as pronounced as this if you were to do a 360 walk around on this vehicle because they still want you to know this is not a race car. This is luxury and sophistication in a midsize SUV and that's what it's given. All right, so as we move to the back of this GLE, a couple things I want to point out. So you have the cameras here that I mentioned before. So there's a camera just right under here. There's another one right on the other side. And then you have these silver accents that are here. So you have a silver accent here. The, also the knob on the inside is silver. So that really complements each other. I really like that. I'm glad they didn't do the silver with the roof rails. I think the black on black is, is a really nice touch. Um, going down, you also have these, the side rail and it has it's rubber wrap so that way you don't have to worry about or has rubber grooves in it sorry um and that you don't have to worry about slipping or anything like that when you're getting in and out especially on like those wet days or those rainy days you don't have to necessarily worry about any slippage so it's pretty safe so good job on the design concept for having that there and as we move back the rear of this isn't ugly right it, it has a a nice slope to it in a sense but it's still very symmetrical when you think about it it doesn't necessarily i wouldn't say it adds to the look but it doesn't really take away it just makes it just makes sure that this doesn't look weird i remember um i forget what model it was or the ml or, or whatever it was but like they had that flat back i didn't like that that was ugly so i'm glad they didn't go that route with this gle and one other thing i want to point out so this is the gle 350 it's not the formatic so that means that it's rear wheel drive so just want to call that out. So this, this is a real wheel drive vehicle. If you want a four wheel drive or all wheel drive, you will have to get the formatic version of this. And while we're here, let's just take a pause on the light. So they don't really look like much when the car isn't on, but when the car is on, oh my goodness, I really like these lights. I think they add a really nice touch to this vehicle. And as we move back here, if you look down, uh, the chrome accents pretty much continue. Uh, so you have some chrome accents here at the lift gate. Um, and then there's some chrome accents there where the tailpipes are supposed to be as well. And there's actually tailpipes back there. It's not the, the full tailpipes. So, you know, that's cool. Really appreciate that. Um, and if you look, there's no backup camera, or at least to the untrained eye, there's no backup camera. There is actually a backup camera, but it's embedded into the lift gate. And what'll happen is once you actually throw this GLE in reverse, it'll pop out. So I think that was a really nice touch. 
it makes it look very clean back here and i guess you know in cases where you're doing road trips or you're driving long distance and things like that your backup camera can get dirty so i think this helps you avoid that issue but other than that if you have one a car that doesn't have that feature you can just clean it yourself and the lift gate you can open it uh, a couple different ways so you can either uh, stick your hand under here and there's a button here that you can press to release the lift gate and open it you can also use the key fob to open the lift gate and then there's also a release button on the interior of the vehicle and the driver's side that's all the way down in the door um, by the cup holder which i think is a weird placement for that you have to reach all the way down there just to open the uh the lift gate i don't, I don't really like that design but whatever um but once inside there's a ton of room in here like they they did not skimp on the space when you think about all the space that's in the interior of this vehicle and the seats fold down so when the seats are folded down you can pretty much get i don't know a bunch of little suitcases in here if you wanted to fit a bunch of carry-on suitcases in here you probably could maybe 10 15 whatever go crazy um there is a first aid kit that is uh that's in here i feel like you only get this with like mercedes and certain other luxury brands like every other car is like eh, whatever go figure it out but yeah there's a there's a first aid kit in here that you can use if you get a boo-boo or whatever and below that i know a lot of people ask me about spare tires this actually has a spare tire and it's right below the floorboard so if you were to just pick up the floorboard in this um, in this trunk area and lift it up there's a tire down there that you can use if you get a flat or if you need to change one on the road or what have you it's not as wide as the stock tires that are on here right now but it'll do but other than that it's just a trunk so not really much to talk about back here let's go ahead and take it on inside yo First things first, it's 92 degrees right now, but I'm gonna still give you this big car review energy, but I'm gonna tell you right now, I'm hot, bruh. Anyway, so as we step inside this GLE, you have, you're greeted with controls, right? So you have your seat controls that are here on the door. You also have your heated seat controls, your cooled seat controls. Yeah, the ventilated seats are clutch, especially right now in this 92 degree weather. Um, you're also greeted with this uh, Burmista um, sound system. So you have the speaker right there. That one's silver, it's highlighted. It goes with the trim and the accents. There's also another speaker that's right above that, right in the door. You have these silver accents uh, being on the actual door handle and the window controls. You have this nice stitching that's coming, coming in as well. And then it's complemented by this black trim or this black wood trim, so to speak. So it's not that um, normal uh, brown wood grain or anything like that. I feel like this complements this vehicle more, especially since it's pretty much a black on black vehicle. And that's the uh, button I was telling you that I didn't like earlier that you can use to release the uh, the actual vents. I mean, not the vents, the... Uh, the <laughs> it's hot, I'm telling you, <laughs> to release the actual trunk. So um, also when you look inside, you have this Mercedes Benz um branding right here or, or, or logo and that is going to be on all four doors it illuminates at night or when you're in lower light so it looks really good and really pronounced when you're actually getting in the vehicle there's also some you know some light controls that are here pretty standard no need to really talk much about those um you can raise or or or, or lower the uh the brightness using this little scroll wheel right here and then if you look in front of me you have this crazy dash so the silver accents still continue you have this 12.3 inch dual display so you have the digital dash you have the infotainment hub that's there and then you have this leather wrap steering wheel that's pretty nice it has the um, standard audio controls here on the right hand side and here on the left hand side you have your more of your vehicle configuration as well as your cruise control and those types of settings that are there you also have these blackberry scroll ball uh, things that are on the left and right side that you can use to control the instrument cluster on the driver's side on the left side of the steering wheel and on the right side of the steering wheel you can also use that to navigate the infotainment screen and go to different screens and select different menu options with that as well um, i'll get back on that in a second but the dash on the driver's side is super customizable you can put maps on the back screen you can um 
customize the, gla the gauge clusters on the left or right hand side just by selecting them. There's also a middle piece where you can see your miles per hour and various vehicle settings as well. So this is super customizable for someone that's gonna wanna have different views um, when they're driving this vehicle. And as you look across, uh, one thing that I really noticed here and I kind of noticed it while I was driving earlier is that you have this vent that's here on the left hand side but you have this fake vent that's here on the right hand side and i think they did that just to maintain the continuity because i think it would look weird if you just had this big vent here and then you had um just dashboard right here so i think that would look super weird um below that so to make up for that faux vent you basically have these four rectangular vents that are down here that are right above the, the climate control system. So I think that's a pretty good design. I like these vents. Um, when I was driving or reviewing the GLA, they had more of the circular vents. So I really, I think I like these vents a lot more, even though I think those circular vents are, are pretty unique. Um, and the uh, in the column, the, the shifter here is, is just like my Tesla. So, you know, I feel right at home in here so that's that's pretty standard i think mercedes benz is is killing the game right now um with this with this gear shifter so i, I really like it it's not in the way it's it's it, it works it's just very appropriate uh for this vehicle it also has a push to start you know if that's your thing it's cool um and going back over to the the infotainment hub so uh in the infotainment hub uh there are many different menu options it's also compatible with android auto and apple carplay i think we got the apple carplay hooked up right now and you can also control the ambient lighting in there as well so there's you can't see it right now because it's very bright outside and very hot <laughs> but um the the ambient lighting so you can change it to whatever lighting that you want to change it to there's so many different options there's also a color mix option that basically um, will give you all of the colors and it'll kind of rotate them in and out um, that i think is pretty cool going over to the uh, right hand side on the passenger side you also have the heated and cooled seats there you have the memory seats uh there as well that i think are, are, are pretty cool usually you don't get that mainly the usually for the driver's side um you have this grab bar here as well and the grab bar also has this um, illumination as well so the ambient lighting is there so that's pretty cool i think that was a nice touch they didn't forget about the the grab bar when they thought about the ambient lighting and then you also have this um little hideaway cup holder situation that's here so you just kind of release that by pressing this latch moving it back there's no wireless charger in this um, i think you can probably opt into getting one later um, with mercedes but as for now, I don't think you necessarily need it. There's plenty of options in here. Um, the charging options down here are USB-C. So it's just proof that we're moving further in that direction towards more USB-C um, outlets in vehicles. And uh, below that, you have your cup holders. And the cool thing about the cup holders is that they have these uh, inserts in them right now, but you can also uh, flip them out so that way you can fit larger items there. So like if you had a larger drink uh, and you didn't have like a bottle of water and maybe you had like a big gulp or a Slurpee or something like that, you can fit that in here if you just make that small configuration change to the cup holder, which I think is pretty cool. And the fact that this is something that you can just kind of hide away and it still has a nice clean look, love it. Um, there's a trackpad here and then the, the, the wrist rest that I like that's very nice and ergonomic and I like the trackpad because you can use that to control the infotainment screen um, as well as uh, you can use voice commands. So you, all you have to do is say, hey, Mercedes, and you can say, turn on the heated seat, or you can say, I'm cold or I'm hot, and it will lower the temperature for you. And what I've noticed with using this as well is if I'm sitting on the passenger side and I say, hey, Mercedes, I'm hot, it will cool down the passenger side. Same thing for the driver's side. If I'm sitting on the driver's side, I've noticed it'll do the same thing. I think that's pretty dope technology. Um, the driving controls, you have, uh, you know, eco, individual, sport and comfort. So you have those, you can change those at the touch of a button right here. And uh, you have some volume controls down here as well. And on the left-hand side, you pretty much have more of your parking configurations that are down here. Um, the camera system is a 360 field of view that I mentioned earlier, so that's pretty dope. And then you also have this uh, this button that's here that looks 
like a camera and it has P on there and that is gonna be for your park finder. So park, well, it basically finds you a parking spot. So if you were to pull up next to an open parking spot, you would activate that, it would acknowledge it, that it's a, pack, a parking spot that this GLE could fit into and then it will activate the automatic parking feature. That's dope. So I like when vehicles have that. I think that's pretty cool. Um, plenty of storage in this vehicle. It's very roomy in the cabin. Um, as well, so you, you don't have to really worry about anything when you're in here. You have plenty of space. You can set multiple driver profiles so the seats can be exactly how you want them for multiple people. And then this pretty cool armrest that you have here, you can pop that out and, and pop that open and you have some additional storage that's kind of tucked away and hidden away. Um, one last thing I'll kind of mention before we head to the back is that if you go with some of the different options you can option this out to have a heated armrest so this vehicle doesn't actually have it we're in california it's hot as i mentioned you can see i am dripping right now and that's how you know i'm committed to y'all because i am dying <laughs> but yeah i mean you know the seats are super comfortable um i'll talk about some more stuff when i actually get into the back but yeah like no no complaints they didn't miss with this one at all all right, so now we're about to hop into the rear of this GLE. As you can see, tons of space. And the car is like, yo, it's hot. I'm about to put all the windows down for you and I'm about to open the sunroof. No, actually, I really just sat on the key fob. So that's why that happened. I didn't plan this at all, but I'm glad it happened that way because now it's letting some, some air up in here. But anyway, the stitching continues. In the rear, you have the, the nice black wood grain and the silver trim that continues as well. As you can see, there's a ton of space in here. I'm not touching this front seat. There's a ton of space on the right-hand side. There's just a little hump in the floorboard, but whatever, I can excuse it, it's not that big. And it's great, you have behind the seat storage, you have vents back here. The only thing is the climate control can only be controlled from the front. So there's no option for the passengers back here to actually control um the, the the climate for themselves there's a little shelf here that you can use if you want to store little things like maybe a gum or i really don't know what you can put right there i've never actually used one of these but it's there there's two usb-c outlets there's also a little storage compartment you can't see it but there's some hand sanitizer in there so that's good for that so that's actually usable this one probably not so much and then there's a 115 volt um charging port or a plug here actually so that should be pretty much similar to a plug that you would find in your home so you can actually plug a device in here maybe a laptop maybe a phone whatever it is that you like but one other thing i want to point out is that there is plenty of room back here for car seats and, and different things like that so you can have a good mix of a car seat and a couple people or a couple car seats so this is going to be roomy enough to fit all of the different use cases that you may have whether you're a family person or a person that's packing and traveling or or whatever it is i think that this vehicle speaks to whoever you are and, and it's able to cater to you in that way um as you sit back here there's a crazy panoramic sunroof like it, it looks amazing and you it, it really just kind of adds to the essence and openness of this vehicle and it makes it feel bigger than it already is and the last thing i'll talk about before i get back here because there's not too many exciting things to chat about while we're here but you can option out a third row of seats now the third row is going to be good for kids not so much for adults you won't want to put any adults back there if you did option for the third row seating so just keep that in mind but other than that like I said, they didn't skimp on the space and this is plenty of room for whoever is gonna sit back here. And I'm 5'9", just for reference, so that way you know, but crazy head clearance, crazy knee clearance. I can spread out back here and chill for real. All right, so now we're taking this GLE on the road, seeing what it can do. But uh, before we get started with the with the driving and me critiquing everything, um, a couple of things that I, I wanted to mention earlier. So um, this GLE features a turbocharged four cylinder engine that puts out 255 horsepower, does zero to 60 in a little bit over five seconds. And it does 19 around town, 26 on the highway. So for a midsize SUV like this, I think that's 
pretty damn good. Handling wise, it's, it's pretty responsive. I will say though, I'm in sport mode right now, uh, but I will say if you want the steering wheel to be a little bit more responsive, you're gonna wanna keep it in uh, sport mode. If you're in comfort or if you're in eco, it's gonna feel a little loose. Uh, to me at least and then you're you're gonna probably realize that the turning radius is a little weird and wonky um, safety wise uh, you have the forward collision warning you have the blind spot monitor and the blind spot detection you have the lane keeping assist and and all of the modern day technologies that you would want to use in terms of safety when you think about driving so overall vehicle is I would say relatively or pretty safe has all the latest you know safety technology so no issues there the ride quality on this is very smooth i'm on the highway right now and you know the highway is a little bumpy but i can barely feel the bumps it, it's it's almost like i'm riding on a cloud like it just feels good again this cabin is super spacious it's quiet i'm not really getting a lot of wind and road noise and it's a really windy day as well. So, you know, that speaks volumes. It's just a nice luxury cabin. I feel like I'm in the cockpit of a spaceship and, and I'm just on an intergalactic journey right now. But again, um, I think that to answer the question of, is this worth the $57,000 price tag that's attached to it? I would say absolutely. I would definitely have this on my radar if you're in the market for a midside SUV. The specs are pretty dope. Cargo space wise, it's gonna be comparable to an X5. Um, there's nothing that I can really say about this that is bad. And I always have a critique for something and I think that this just honestly floored me in terms of a vehicle. I didn't know if I was gonna like it or not. I drove the GLA, I really liked that. Um, but this is, an amazing vehicle and it just screams luxury sophistication comfort and it's great to look at um, lastly one thing I'll just mention is that the steering wheel um, you know it, it's, it's pretty responsive right I won't kind of jerk the car around while I'm driving on the road right now but it's very responsive as it stands right now if I wanted to change lanes and let's say go to this right lane I'll be able to do so rather easily and it kind of goes with me um, again nothing bad to say oh look a Rivian I want to review one of those next so if anybody has a Rivian or knows where I can get one or get my hands on one hit the comments let me know um, oh cool thing that I want to point out that I probably can't show you right now but I'll just do it anyway and see if you can actually see it but the climate control if you uh, press the climate control and if you want to turn up the heat on the passenger side or even the driver's side the ambient lighting as you can see will start to turn red it's actually purple right now but it'll turn red uh, if you want to change that so I think that's a pretty dope little feature if you're interested in that kind of stuff if you want to check that out but now you know other than that catch y'all on the next review